we are inserting windows and doors. Let's start with a door. Before we insert it, we will define its parameters. We can select its type. In, the, in this case, it's a single door. Now we select door scheme. We are defining the frame. Frame width, clear width in wall and overall height. Later, these dimensions will be reduced by the door frame thickness and displayed as clear values. We need to define the window frame distance from the wall edge. As we have added an insulation layer to the floor, the floor thickness is now 14.9 cm and this is the value we are giving as the threshold height from the lower wall edge. Once the door has been defined, we save it to the project library. If we add it to the global library for future reference, we should remember to include in its name as much information as possible, like its being external, plus the type, size and scheme in order to be able to find it easily. We want to insert the door and set distance from the wall, so we will use the reference option. Using entity snaps, we can precisely indicate a room corner and an insertion direction. Bear in mind that the cursor is attached to the door axis because woodwork is inserted with the axis by default. However, we are changing the insertion point to the edge, so we need the click the edge icon on the item bar. We can see that the cursor is in the proper place and we can enter the distance. Now we can type the distance and confirm with enter. The door has been inserted. I will follow a similar procedure for other doors. They can be selected, for example, from the standard library. In the properties of the inserted door, we will check the center window frame against wall option, confirm the selection and insert the door. Now we are going to insert the garage door. Let's select the last door from type we can change its scheme and size. We have lowered the garage floor. Now it is at the same level as the lower wall edge, so the threshold height for this door has to be zero. Alongside each door and window, a lintel is inserted automatically. The internal door has been modified. I don't want to overwrite it because the doors that have already been inserted would be changed too. This is why I am adding a new type and saving the door to the project library. I'll place the door in the middle of the wall. And I'll do the same for the remaining doors. All doors have been inserted, 
And now it's time for the windows. We can select them from the standard library or define on our own. We enter the properties and change the window width and height as well as the frame parameters. While entering the windowsill height, we should remember that now it is given form the lower wall edge. After insertion, the value is shown from the flooring that will be inserted in the room. We are entering distance of window frame from wall edge and a scheme which we are selecting from the library. After defining the window, we should save it to the project library. We can also save it in the global library and then use it in the next projects. Windows are inserted in the same way as doors. For example, we can insert a window in the middle of a wall or at a set distance. In this case, we need to remember about the cursor position, which by default is in the middle of the window we are inserting, while here it should be at the edge. We enter the value and confirm with enter. If a door or a window is supposed to have any other shape than rectangular, we select them from special window door. We can select them from the standard library or define on our own. We are enabling the reference option and now we can enter the sill height on the item bar. We show a reference point, a direction, and then enter the value and confirm. We'll do the same for the consecutive windows. If we want to insert a balcony door, we will use either the Windows or the Special Window Door option. In the Properties window, we can select a window type, so we can choose a balcony door for example. Now, we are defining the threshold height and distance of the window frame from the wall edge. The frame thickness and width as well as overall height. We save the balcony door to the project and or global library. It is possible to change the type symbol. We are inserting the balcony door at a set distance indicating a corner, a direction, entering a distance, and confirming 